Welcome to the weekly weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, October 28th, 2020. I'm Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. On Halloween night, we have a full spooky moon rising with the sunset and setting with the sunrise. 100% illumination and it will be really noticeable under very clear skies. Take a look at drought, of course it's getting worse. Now we just had a bunch of precipitation, but that did not show up in this analysis. This data is almost a week old when we get to see it, but uh, we'll see what it looks like next week. Hopefully there is some relief that will show up. But a week ago, we had a fair amount of dryness on the plains, extreme dryness in the western mountains, and a week later, that extreme dryness is now spreading into the plains as well. So yeah, we need, Need that moisture that we got, we're going to cover that in a second, but we need more, more moisture. Looking at the entire nation, the southwest and southern Rockies is just crispy dry right now. All right, the actual amount of melted liquid, most of it did fall as snow, is depicted in this map. And the, the light greens are a half inch, darker greens are an inch, and the yellows are two inches to three inches up around Red Feather Lakes and like that. So fantastic. Here's the I-25 corridor with Fort Collins down to Colorado Springs. The eastern plains didn't do as well. It's about a quarter inch of moisture out there. Snowfall totals, thanks to CBS Denver that made the graphics, we have up to a foot and a half around Red Feather Lakes, over a foot in Estes Park, 10 inches at Grand Lake, Loveland 11, down around Denver is more uh, the half foot area. Palmer Divide got up a little more towards nine inches. So really good. We, we needed that and it piled up. Taking a look at Wednesday noon, we have uh, our storm cut off into a, this nice low down here over Texas, New Mexico. Because of that, we're on the dry side. The moisture is kind of staying out on this side of it. This is Hurricane Zeta, the fifth system to hit Louisiana this year, because it is 2020, and this low will be influencing it, as we'll see. It's going to come in to very close to New Orleans, so big news there. If you're not following it, go, go try on the TV. Um, then heading over here towards D.C. and out. Looking at the water vapor satellite, image. We have lots of dry air uh, southwest of the U.S. We have the northern jet stream coming down and this little curl of moisture here. Tremendous amounts of moisture associated with Zeta. It's not the last letter of the Greek alphabet. If I can do this off the top of my head, it's Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta, Eta, Zeta, Theta. I think Epsilon is in there. I probably missed Epsilon. So <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's still early or middle uh, alphabet, but we have certainly had a lot of named systems. Taking a look at the smoke forecast for Wednesday night, I just want to show a mostly smoke-free map. Stuff is still going on uh, in extreme fire activity in a few spots in California. Locally here, the blanket of snow helped kind of tamp everything down for now. Okay, the normals. We are dropping from a normal of high of 60 down to 56 over the next 10 days. We're going from right at freezing as a normal low temperature, 32 down to 28. So winter is coming. Uh, low temperature, uh, high and low temperatures are staying below normal for the next two or three days. The weekend we get a little cool down here as a dry front comes through. Then we go to slightly above normal, but that still puts us only in the 60s for high temperatures. Yeah, it's, it's getting cooler. There's this tiny little spot that shows up in the ensemble out here about November 6th. I, I wouldn't get excited about that, but some of the models think a little bit of rain or snow falls. Our next system is Saturday, and it's this trough coming in. You can see that the high that we had all summer and fall is not far. It's still lurking out there over California with a ridge up above. If we put this into motion, you can watch the low, cutoff low rolling through. You can see Zeta get caught up into that flow and thrown off the east coast. Then that trough heads out. In the northern branch, we still have a pretty good ridge. Here comes the weekend trough pushing in, but then it's replaced right away by another ridge with a little swirl down here, but 
Yeah, this ridge just keeps wanting to form in the west. Now if you watch, if we get out close to the 7th, near the end of the 10 days, there is, here's the ridge, it becomes more zonal as we go to the 5th, and then a trough starts to dig off the west coast. It could mean uh, before mid-November we have another big system come through. But over the next 10 days, precipitation, heavy stuff with the tropical system down here in the southeast, the rain ahead of that with the cutoff low, but the west and central plains dry. We get a bunch of rain up here in the Pacific Northwest. For snowfall, the current system is going to dump uh, kind of an unusual amount of snow in New Mexico and the panhandle of Texas and a little bit of western Oklahoma, but we're pretty much snow free up here. Maybe a few ripples will create some mountain snows, but not a lot. So looking for the next seven days, we have 50s and 60s into the end of the week. We cool down with that trough to a Sunday 40s. Night time temperatures back to the 20s. And then we get above freezing at night into next week with temperatures almost getting to 70. That's possible, but dry conditions. For your Halloween forecast, if you are going to brave the extra scary uh, Halloween conditions this year, uh, 6 p.m. it'll be 46 degrees with fairly stiff winds making it feel colder out of the west around 10 miles per hour. By 9 p.m. the temperatures will drop 10 degrees to about 36. Winds will have gone to calm or just slightly out of the east. But very clear and dry. Sunset will occur at 5.58. Twilight ends at 623. So my hope at Cherrywood Observatory is to get a camera working on my telescope out to a big screen TV and feed uh, candy down through a pipe or something like that to trick-or-treaters on the lawn next to the observatory. So I'll see if I can pull that off. It's been a little too chilly to try the technology beforehand. So for more frequent news updates and local news, and weather updates, take a look at the Longmont Leader at longmontleader.com. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth. Keep looking up.